Alright, Knights of Apollo, welcome back to the Pain Campaign. This is a special episode, because this is episode lucky number 13. Are we going to have good luck, or are we going to have bad Usually 13 is like a bad luck thing, but we'll see, we'll see. Now, I'm not really one who believes in superstition, uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, we'll see uh, <laughs> how much I believe in it after this episode. Uh, so we had a lot of luck, uh, a lot of good fighting in the north here. We defeated the Geats, mixed in with the Saxon army, uh, so they joined forces against us. But we held our own, and we could probably move out here pretty soon. Um, probably not too soon. You know what? You know what I should ju We should. We should just move out. Because, like, the AI, you know, you know how they are. They'll pump out new armies, like, no tomorrow. So... I think what we're going to do is we are going to push here. Uh, what kind of army do we... Oof, I don't know. We I'm, I'm a little worried about that army, but we need to get over there, defeat it over here, push here, uh, start taking out these territories. I mean, that's going to be... That's going to be the dream. The dream. Uh, okay, so let's let's get that underway. We're having some issues in the Iberian Peninsula. Uh, I, am, I am trying to build an army over here uh, and try to deal with that. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, but for now, let's just worry about here because this is a big problem. So let's get to it. I think we're at the very beginning of a turn or no, kind of at the end. Um, let's see. Can we recruit over here? You know what we should do with this guy? We should send him back. We're going to send him back here. Uh, and then he's going to recruit and then and just, you know, re... Um, you know, refill, <laughs> replenish. <laughs> I forgot the word replenish, refill. <laughs> like it's a, a soda or something. All right, uh, let's see. What else can we do? Let's check the happiness of our towns. We got a couple towns here that are unhappy. And we need to do everything in our power to improve it. We are building a great theater here. It's going to be four more turns. I'm a little worried that's going to be too late. Let's see. This would help with public order. It's going to take three turns. So there we go. That's going to help a little bit, so that's always good. And then over here, they are mm, happy, but only just. Is there anything we can do? Or is this the same? No, this is different. Okay, but there's nothing we can upgrade or build, because we just spent all of our money on that upgraded bath system or whatever. So, uh, we're going to leave that as that. I think we're just going to go ahead and end the turn. I'm not ready to make a move just yet. I don't even think I can, so let's just sit back. We have some skills. We have a governor, so we always want to try to improve public order with our governors. Oh, he's got two. There you go. Two skill points. And then we have another governor who can improve happiness as well. So that is good. All right. Always got to try to make them good governors. Oh, nice. Some fighting that doesn't involve me. Okay, this is not nice. And we're probably going to lose this battle. Wow, Celtic Axe Man. The Celts, man. <laughs> the Celts are all... And then they have this. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to win this. Um, and just for the sake of progress of this campaign, I'm going to auto-resolve this. Let's take a protective stance. Oh, yeah. Ooh, chopped his arm off. I haven't seen that animation in a long time. That's kind of cool. Uh, decisive defeat. We did not do well. They didn't capture anything, though. They're just being jerks and being really annoying. Like, you know, like you do. Yeah, the Iberian Peninsula is under attack. And we need to give it some attention pretty quick here. Because, again, for some reason, the Celts were just like, you know what? <laughs> Even though we live in mud huts, let's go all the way. Take it would be a logistical nightmare uh, to have these big armies take their crappy ships all the way to the Iberian Peninsula and start attacking Romans. Like, give me a break, okay? This is not realistic. Uh, uh, it, it wouldn't happen, all right? Unless someone was like funding them or something. I don't know. Like, it's just kind of annoying. Uh, Eastern Roman Empire taking their time. I don't really care what they're doing as long as they're not attacking me. We always go through this. There we go. Ah, that, that lag was horrendous. Uh, they're going into the deep waters and taking attrition. Alright, cool. 
Uh, what is? Oh my God! What is happening here? I think they're conquering the Eastern uh, Romans. I almost called them the Byzantines. I guess you can. We can just call them the Byzantines. All right, here's Britain. <laughs> What are you? At least, at least Britain's not coming over and attacking me. God. Okay, that's annoying. Really, we just need to get the momentum going. Oh wow, that's really annoying too. And once we get the momentum going, we're gonna be looking pretty. We're gonna be. Oh, it's fall. Okay, so we if we attack, we gotta get into a settlement quick. Um. This is not a thing. Is he really trying to run away from my army? At ease, man. Yeah, that that's that's not gonna happen. All right, so we can push this army up. We could play it safe and recruit two more units. Oh, we got rebels in here. Come on, come on. I right, look. I'm gonna rebuild. There's no need to rebel. Uh, I, I guess I gotta I gotta kill these rebels. I mean, it's gonna give us some experience. I can auto resolve it. I'm gonna be aggressive. Urgh! That's what you get for rebellion. All right, there you go. I'll take on the soldiers. There we go. Easy experience without losing a lot of soldiers. Oh, and we got another ballista or artillery. So that's good. <laughs> it's good when you take on soldiers. All right, let's uh, improve that. So this army is getting really strong. And we can also get a tradition thing here. So integrity in foreign territory, upkeep minus five, recruitment cost uh, for foreign levy units minus 10, recruitment cost minus 10 for mercenaries, or we can get integrity plus one and own allied. So let's see, what do we get here? Melee plus versus barbarian kingdoms. Morale plus two versus barbarian. Uh, t minus 20% casualties suffered from snow. This is really good. We're going to go with this. And hopefully that will help us uh, economy wise. Let's get you down here. Okay. Things are looking good. We just have a situation in the Iberian Peninsula where. Oh, hey, look who decided to settle down. Can you please attack them? All right, we'll see how this army's coming along. We can now go ahead and just get more more swordsmen is where it's at. We'll get one more spear and I guess one more volley. Volley, one more skirmisher, and that will be good right there. Next turn, we counter conquer the, the reconquest, reconquista of the Iberian Peninsula is underway. Roman edition. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't take like 400 years. Uh, that's, that's, that's the plan. Okay. Um, we're good. We're good. Uh, I'm happy. Um, we got some money we can spend. So let's go back to our cities and address the ones that are unhappy. These guys are happier. So that's good. I really want to get to, okay. See they're minus four. All right. What can we build? We can expand or we can upgrade. Um, expansion usually helps a little bit. So let's expand. Let's see, we got some military buildings, we got some fields, we got some industry. Alright, let's expand here. And anything that will improve here, public order, two turns, boom. Bada boom, bada bing. Perfect. Alright, that's gonna be two turns. We still have a lot of money, so we can spend that elsewhere around the Empire. Uh we're ooh, they're upset over here. We need to improve that. See, bats will improve public order, but it's only plus two. That is enough to make them happy, but we might want to look into this again later. Um, let's see. Over here, they are happy again. Over here, they are happy for now. Uh, oh, yeah. These guys are upset. It's kind of annoying, but what can you do? Hopefully, next turn, they're going to be a little bit happier because we're rebuilding. And over here, they are upset. Probably the presence of, of uh, enemy armies. But, um, you know, we could expand and just build something that will make them happier. Uh, they don't really have a ton of military stuff here. So I'm going to go with the stronger garrison force. And that's going to give us, um, you know, plus two public order. So 
I think that's good. Um, we have some more goldage left over. Uh, I guess we could just save it. Or we could upgrade some stuff. Public order, unit experience. That's nice. Um, just trying to, you know, I, I don't want to be too reckless here. So we could get some scout equites over here. Getting some cav, some archers. Or some more infantry. What, what is this? Over here? Okay. Well, let's just get better infantry. We, we, we need to start getting some stronger units in general. Because I think we can get cav over here. Yeah, we can get scout cav here. So that's good. Um, you know what? Can I send them here? I'm going to send them here. Okay, that's good. Alright, I'm happy with that. Let's, let's end the turn. Oh, we got a governor. Oh, you got more? Let's see. Plus two integrity, campaign movement... Recruitment cost minus 10. Replenishment. Let's see. Uh, upkeep minus 5 for all commanding units. Trying to find something that will help us city-wise. Let's see. Integrity. Loyalty plus 1. Let's just go with that. The loyalty is important. Is he under siege too, by the way? That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Don't worry. Well, oh, he backed away. Are you serious, man? Why are the Celts... They want me dead so bad. Like, if I... If I knew the Celts... And and just the people from Britannia... Were going to be so crazy and attack me... I don't know if I would have given up the... The uh, British Isles so easily. Because I should have kept them over there. You know, fighting on their homeland. Not over here. We don't want wars over here. Come on. So that's frustrating. That's frustrating. You know, sometimes I feel like we should just uh, edit out the turns. I mean, sometimes, you know, because I'm trying to give some good commentary during the turn times. Because there's really not much happening. But, uh, you know, I, I might just edit it out. Because I, it's not really, I guess you want to see troop movement when it happens. So maybe I'll leave it in. I don't know. I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. I assume you guys like the longer style. You know, it's more of a chill, sit back. Maybe have this video going on in the background. I'm sure some of you guys have this in the background. Just saying, hey, whatever you're doing. <laughs> Maybe you're doing some homework. Maybe you're uh, playing a different game. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's do this. What the heck? You're going to take my troops away from me, Gull? Uh, we might want to look into getting more um, mercenaries, too. Okay, it's just a general. Alright, uh, we should win this, I think. Uh, their archers are scary. Our infantry, I think, is better. We have more swords than them, so... We should be okay. Let's see if we can win this. This is the first battle of episode 13. Will we have our luck? Let's find out. All right, here's the battlefield. It looks pretty nice. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I wish we had this big hill, though. Um, there's really no point in trying to move up the hill because unless they move down like this, but they'll also have a hill as well. I, I guess I could try and just see what happens. Try to take the hill. Um, let's see. Let's put the spears to hold the front line. And then what we're going to do is take the swords and they're gonna be the flanking maneuver unit all right General. uh we do have deployables i guess because we're on defense Ooh. okay that might change things you know what maybe we should take a defensive stance and use those deployables i mean i feel like the deploy deploy because there's no height advantage in this game i don't think so so let's go to the flat ground here actually so i'm just gonna keep this formation Right, we're gonna move it down here by hitting the Alt key. Because uh, I'm sure someone will ask how I did how did I do that? Um, so we'll do that. Um, we don't have any cav, so so I am going to put some anti cav right in front of my skirmishers. I don't know. They never really... You know what? Let's put it more on the flank. They usually charge the flank. I think. And then we'll put some on this flank over here. And then in the center, we will put some traps 
like so boom and hopefully that uh, will help us out uh, we also have some brimstone I never use this I, I don't even think I have fire I, you have to be like really close well you know what let's just let's just try it I think can't you light them on fire by like being right next to them or do you have to light them on fire using fire arrows I don't know I usually never use deployables but the enemy cannot be allowed within these walls. In these walls? Banners must remain flying, even if every man here dies in making it so. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Okay, well he he's got his speech wrong because we're not in a. Stand ready. We're we're not in the walls. Uh, but I I will say that it is good to see a pitch battle because I feel like it's progress. You know, we're no longer defending a siege. We're actually like. I mean, technically, we're in our own territory defending, but at least we're out there fighting armies and not being like, oh, God, uh, we need to fall back and use the walls to help us win. Uh, so that's progress, you know? That's progress. All right, so I'm going to put my skirmishers, actually, in loose formation because they're not going to have as good as range as the enemy archers. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, we're just waiting for them to move forward. You attacked me, bucko. I'm not waiting for you. There we go. Come on. Get up there. Oh, uh, I hope he just, like, full-on charges. Because that would be perfect. Uh, let's also adjust our formation a little bit. I'm going to make my spears have a thinner line. Like this. I just want to make sure I match their line. And then I'm going to put them in Testudo. The, all I want them to do, like, Hastings, Hastings style, like, just hold the line. Just hold that line. And then once they're in formation, I will put them in Testudo, stationary Testudo. And we will do that. And then what I'm going to do is put these guys further out. But I'm going to leave this, swords, this sword unit closer towards the center just in case... I have to reinforce the center. So these, yeah, it's, I'm basically giving myself the option here. Do I want to run around? If I do, I can. But if I also need to send them here, 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 uh, I can send them, you know, those places. I also have my general. I'm going to put him in Testudo just in case they try to shoot at him. But I will leave my swords uh, not in Testudo because they need to move quickly. Come on, let's go, Gull, a.k.a. Romans. <laughs> Ro At least they could have, like, changed it a little bit. That's the thing I get frustrated with CA, how lazy they can get. Like, this is a new nation. They should have, like, I get it if they have similar units, but, like, add something different about them. Like, design-wise, like, they're getting their culture back or they're, like, you know, or something, you know? Like, God. Okay, so we can light these on fire. So when they get close, I'm going to... Oh, wow. They're getting really close. Uh, how close are they? Are these archers? You're just running... Okay. Let's get closer. So we can throw stuff at them. You guys throwing? No. You're in range. There you go. Oh, come on. <sighs> Alright, we'll light these. Burn! <laughs> They're about to break. God, give us strength! There we go. The ones on the... There you go. You lit them and you're done. I'm not charging for it. I got traps here. They're me I'm even burning my own men. <laughs> Why are you getting that close? Oh my god, I hate the AI. Using tactics and everything, those jerks. Alright, now they're backing up. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Just back up. These guys return. That's good. Quick march. 
Oh my god, AI. Attack me. Just attack me. Stop shooting me with arrows. It's like they know, man. It's like they know. And look, at I even set off my own traps. This is a disaster. What are they shooting at? Okay, they're shooting at my spear line. That's good. They're just going to waste ammo that way. So we'll just hold our position. I think we just got to play the waiting game here. Because... Man, I worked so hard. Like, lighting these on fire. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, sure enough, the cab is going on the flanks. So I should have put it more on the flanks. So I'm actually going to... Testudo, testudo. Testudo! Okay, big, big attack. Oh, of course this goes out of fire right when they, right when they charge. Alright, our cat, our infantry here needs to quickly kill this cat. Uh, we can actually flank around with these spears. So, that's good. But we need to hurry up. Um... I'm going to send some swords in the center. Actually, I'm going to send both swords in the center. Because they need to get over there. There we go. We break them? Okay, good. No, 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 no. Get out of Testudo. Not in. Alright, these guys are breaking here. Swords, let's go. All right, I'm going to start moving around my skirmishers to harass theirs. Try to break that center. There you go, there you go. Get around. Go this way, come on. Alright, so I'm gonna send units of infantry to help the center. The center is like. Oh, come on! Alright, good. I'm gonna get to that center. I might have to charge in my general just to maintain it. Alright, let's let's win on this flank over here really quick. There we go. We got them surrounded. I don't want to send my general in, but if I have to, I have to. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing. All right. Let me get my general out of Testudo. Actually, it looks like we got to send my general in. But he should be safe. I mean, we're winning this battle. Keep flanking around, boys. Good job. Good job. They're not done yet. You guys don't have to go back in. Just be a scary-looking presence. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Numbers aren't everything, boys. Numbers aren't everything. Hope you learned your lesson, barbarian scum. Run from the enemy. This is shameful. All right, Javis. No, don't. Come keep pushing. Keep pushing. Get that general. Oh yeah, we have surrounded them. The men are running. Stand and fight. You know, if they uh, were true Romans, they would know of a certain battle <laughs> where they got surrounded and utterly destroyed. I think they would remember that, but they've for they have forgotten their past. And when you forget your history, and you have no identity, and 
just get destroyed. Get destroyed. Alright, I don't know what the general's doing here, but he must die. Every nation needs their identity. The enemy general is fallen! Yes! Men are running, cowards! Who's running at this point? Seriously. Alright, let's send some aid over here. Alright, these troops just, just, you know, they keep coming back. Go around. I'm running for their lives. Stop breaking. We're winning the battle. Jeez. The battle is turning in our favor. It's been in our favor. God, I hate this advisor. Like, very rarely does he ever help. Like, you know what would be useful? Hey, your calves under attack. <laughs> that important calf you have. It's under attack. Just letting you know. Nope, it's never like that. It's always Captain Obvious, like, Our general is under attack! Yeah, well, I've charged him in. Which, by the way, oh, wait, no. I was gonna say the general hasn't lost anyone, but he has. Our forces have found their courage! Back there we go, the victory! Uh, we could have done a little bit better, but... Uh, that was a good victory. Um, a much-needed victory. We killed their general. We should be able to... Uh, chase them down. Hey, look, they have the same first name. How about that? But we should be able to... Not really. I was going to say, like, just push and attack, but we lost a lot of men. We need to hunt them down, that's for sure. We're going to take on the warriors, because... <laughs> Dead. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so, buddy. Okay, so let's go after That's this army. For God himself. And we should be able, able to annihilate him here. We'll auto-resolve. We'll have a balance uh, attack. We'll, uh, good job. Yeah, hey, you wanted your independent state, you know? Your goal now. Goal is back. You guys are, are vibing. Uh, here's the thing though you gotta you gotta fight for you gotta fight for your your country and uh, you know you're 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 free you're free to rebel and you're free to to form your own thing but uh, get ready for the wrath All right. we need to get you back why are you moving so slow all right for now you go into here and heal up yeah, I'm not sure. Can we force march our way? Any yeah, we really need you in the city. Behind. There you go. Okay, good. Um, you need to force march as well. Get moving, oh, I guess you don't really need Whatever, just get to the city. Because it's snowing out. Ready oh, we're negative food. Uh-oh. We might start have to investing in some food buildings. I just realized. Okay. It's going to be a harsh winter. All right, well, let's let's look at where we can improve some food. Just kind of go around here. I'm not really seeing... Oh, salt. Salt. Yeah, we're consuming too much food. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Let's build a farm here. Get some food going. We got a farm building over here. That's good. Uh, we can improve this. Um, let's do the plus 40 food. Nice. Uh, how are we doing money? I think we might be able to get one more farm to be built here. I'm just kind of looking around uh, to upgrade this. How much? We don't have. Oh, we don't have the tech. Okay, you already have a farm. Let me try to find... Oh, here we go. 
Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Oh, we still have a lot of money. Farms are cheap, man. Uh, we don't really need money. I mean, you can never have enough, I guess, but we're not, like, hurting for money, so I'm not worried about improving my industry because it does affect the happiness. You know, too much industry makes them upset. Let's see if we can, here, we can get a statue, more public order. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, well, well we could recruit more troops as well. Um, we could hire a mercenary, just kidding. Uh, let's see, can we recruit over here? We can get another spear. What about mercenaries? Mercenary pikes? Yeah, let's get some pikemen. Why not? And then we'll get another spear. It is a great and glorious thing to serve your people. We'll get two more spears. No, that's too many spears. Alright, there we go. Alright, that's good. Yeah, we definitely need to look at the, the mercenary, you know, option. To kind of deal with Ready this stuff. Battle. Um, we could recruit more here. We don't really need to, though. Oh, look at look who showed up. Oh, it's good to see you. I think he's taking my territories. Wasn't this mine? Yeah, he's. That's fine. I don't care. Like, Commander. remember, the whole point of this campaign is just to exist. We hunger for just to exist. Oh, let's go back here and see. At your yeah, let's let's move out. Hear us, Lord. Actually, no, you need to stay because, wow, they are upset. We need to do something about that. We need to do something quickly. All right, uh, cool. I think we'll just save the, the money and, and end the turn and see what happens here. There's another force kind of gathering up here that might attack us. But we'll see what happens. What is this? Oh my god. Get out of the Iberian Peninsula, please. Oh my god, you suck. Who is this? They're not an enemy. They're like a new wandering army. That's good? We should try to get them on our good side? <laughs> we should try to negotiate with them because they might take out the other wandering army that has settled down. Maybe this is the part of, maybe this is the same people and they're like, I don't want to settle down. I like being nomadic. And they, they form their own nomadic army. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All right. Getting through all these factions I can't pronounce. What is this? Non-aggression pack? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can... I will I will gladly accept that. And we're getting money? You, you didn't have to do Oh, Brayton, I thought you were leaving me alone. Okay, big time battle here. Big time battle. I think we can easily win this. This is huge. Because I think Gull, since they lost a general, they lost an army against me. Now they're going to lose this army. This is looking pretty good. So, let's go fight this. All right, guys, so we are here, and this looks like a solid uh, settlement. Uh, my fiance just texted me saying that my area just got Starlink, uh, and it's first come, first serve, so we're trying to sign up for it. Um, Starlink, if you don't know what it is, it's uh, Elon Musk thing. Uh, basically, it's really fast satellite internet. Um, I think I'll probably still get my uh, other internet, but this will be a good backup. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I might be able, if it's strong enough. Uh, I might be able to stream and record and upload with that satellite in internet, so I don't have to go to my parents uh, three times a week and record three videos in one sitting. So this is really exciting. Hopefully, we can get that Starlink and I can work from my my own house. I mean, I would love. I mean, if it's really good, if it's really good. Um, I would love to be able to just cancel the other internet because it's super expensive and Starlink's like $99 a month. Oh, just kidding. Okay, so this is, um, I'm sorry, this is so off topic, but I'm just so excited about this. We won't get internet, uh, from them till mid to late 2021, it says. This is pre-order. Okay. Well, um, uh, you know, still, I guess having like backup satellite will be good. I, I guess. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's still pretty cool. All right. So anyways, back to this fight. Let's see what we can do here. 
Uh, so it looks like their entire force is going to be attacking here. That's good. We're going to set up some deployables. Uh, set up some artillery. Boom, boom. All right. And then let's... Um, <clears throat> let's... Well, the cap can only go through the gate. So let's just put this in front of the gate. Like so. And then we will just throw some traps out here. Boom. All right, I think I'm going to hold here because we could probably just hold in two choke points. It's a really solid place to hold. We do have a naval reinforcement. Let's go ahead and get them close. Cool. Um, <clears throat> see, what do we got for infantry? Uh, we're going to put the archers up here. We're going to fire from above. Nice little position. Can I get them here? Yeah, that's good enough, I think. Let's see. We're oh, yeah, they can... They can reach and then what we're gonna do is just hold we'll try to hold over here so i'll dedicate like three units and just kind of see how it plays out but we're mostly gonna hold here we'll hold right here and we will hold right here and that's gonna be our defensive position i will not back up on we'll have some swords ready to move in and this is where we're gonna win guys this is where we're gonna win uh we also have some cav i'm gonna send them out get them out of here uh we have my very almost like hun looking general <laughs> honey hun, hun, i think it's just hun anyways uh yeah so yeah that's that's looking good um i guess we'll put the extra spear right here and we're good to go let's uh should we put a yeah, we'll put a barricade right here because why not and we're good let's start the battle first thing i'm gonna do is get the extra reinforcements from the boats the ships the navy up here and let's move out the cab like we usually do do they have oh yeah oh yeah they've got some some weak looking units we can run down with our cab all right hey uh wall artillery yeah go for the general save some time go to the general whatever <laughs> That's my second time referencing that terrible general insurance thing. <laughs> just trying to just trying to get some insurance. Go for that general. 1-800 the general or what if that, that was stupid stupid commercials. All right. <laughs> Anyways, you're probably thinking what the hell? What the hell are you talking especially if you if you don't know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, we got more archers. That's huge. Uh move them up and then we'll send a sword over here and a sword over here cool very cool come on hit that general if you can't do it i'll get someone else who can yeah the general's honestly oh oh oh, oh, oh. what are these mercy he's going for my calf uh, run away okay charge we don't have a choice oh we annihilated them we hit them hard with our skirmishes our skirmishing capability all right we gotta uh oh we're not gonna hit these guys hard though what is, is this scout oh we're breaking come on Oh, and then they're throwing in spears. Wow, they're actually using tactics. Well, we can't... The thing with Attila, you can't really pull out of a fight or you're definitely going to lose. So, I'll just let them fight to the death. I didn't expect that from the AI. So, hey, props to them. Good job. Good job. Don't care. Don't care. I didn't care anyways. You think I care about my calf? Alright, machine gun the general. Machine gun the general. I know the general usually is in the front, so I'm trying to kill him. Men return to the fight. Oh, my cab returned. All right, good timing. Yeah, kill him. All right, just keep him distracted. Run away. Here we go. Let me take control of this. Oh man, we are annihilating this general. There we go. Last shot. Come on. Yeah, look at the general's breaking. 
Good job. Oh, general sniping. That's general sniping. Uh, stop it. Shut up. Just shut up. Get our archers up here. Looks like they are going to flank around a little bit. Oh. No, 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 not there. Hold right, right there. That's general sniping, bro. I mean, I get it. I don't like when general people general snipe in the beginning of the battle, but towards the middle to late, I don't mind. An entire unit has perished. Oh, there goes my cav. Ah. Uh, Unfortunately, the general did not die. Alright, you know what? Operation Save Those Spears. Let's go. Um, archers, I'm going to have you face this way, actually. Double time! Nothing remains of this unit now. That's what I like to hear. Your orders. Thank you. you have reinforcements, don't break. Alright, I'm being kind of reckless here. We're winning here, that's good. Nice, nice. Okay, are they finally attacking? Okay. Why are you guys using... Oh, that's right. The boat people use... The boat people, the Navy. The Navy uses fire ammo. Like, as default. Heaven can wait. Because right now we're saving Rome. God will understand. He's like, bro, I was totally going to get you to go into heaven, but guess what? It can wait. Where are you guys going? Where? Oh, you're breaking? Excuse me? Yeah, I got a little too aggressive, guys, and I'm having to deal with that. I didn't expect my troops to break. I got way too, way too aggressive, and uh, I think I'm going to lose this battle. Uh, for some stupid reason, I thought this was over. Like, this is, uh, you know, GG. I'm going to try to retreat some units over here and try to save this battle, but it's not looking like it's going to happen. We're gonna retreat you over here. Quick march. The men have broken and are fleeing. Just gotta win over here. I was trying to use the arrow towers or something, but this is embarrassing. How embarrassing. This is just I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed, guys. I'm embarrassed. We're winning over here on this plane. Here, go take care of them. It's not over yet, though. The men are broken and running for their lives. It's not over yet. We can win here. Come on, just break these guys. These guys were breaking, and now they're not. Now it's like, yeah, we were breaking, but once you charge us with a unit of infantry, we're totally cool about it. Okay, that's a big break there. All right, you got to break these guys. Like, they got to die. Why aren't they dying? Die, die, die. I don't... No, I need you to... Please break, please break, please, please, please. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. Okay, fall back. Fall back. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. All right. 
Dang it. Carotina guards! Double time! Double time! Alright, archers. At speed! Alright, we, we just gotta kill their general, and I think we can win this. Remember, we're just holding two choke points. Get some more bodies up there. We're doing all right. We're gonna do this. Don't worry. Obliterated an entire unit. Shut up! Don't care. For the savior. Alright, my general might have to join the fight here. I'm gonna get him a little closer just so he can do shield wall. There we go. What does this do? Use the whip. I don't know if I want to use the whip. Our general is under attack. I know he's under attack. I know this. All right. Ooh, there's their general. But they're setting up. Okay. Missile infantry. We got this. We got this. Advance. We can do this. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna use the whip. that whip kill the general get that general we kill him there's a chance kill the general oh it's palatina guard Kill the general. This was a stupid play. I could have done so much better here, guys. Again, there is a chance if I can kill this general. But even if we do win, like, uh, I just did not take this battle seriously. I don't know. For some reason, I thought I had it in the bag. I don't know why. I mean, I did have it in the bag. Nobody's dying. They're still at 49. Damn. We need to get them to break. We are losing our advantage. Still at 49. Nobody is dying. We need this wave to break. There we go. There we go. All right. All it takes is one. That's all it starts with. Just one. I need to do war cry every single time. Because their morale is low. They're tired. They're angry. My guys are still going strong. 49. They have not lost. The Palatine Guard are just that amazing. It's so frustrating. Come on. Oh, we're so going to lose. This is such crap. I hate this game. Alright. We gotta send over reinforcements here. Our swords are breaking. Oh, they lost one! They lost the Palatina Guard! Don't worry, reinforcements are here. Don't break, please. Oh, 20 seconds. As long as this unit can hold. Oh, they recovered. All right, 
What you're about to see here is an epic gamer move right here, all right? 10 seconds. to get my general out of there and go to the other side back, back now. and hope that this side can hold get back in the fight loser Understood. here yeah 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 go back over here trade No. Oh my god, the timing on this is perfect. Yes, no! Oh, you're breaking too? You're such cowards! We should have won this battle if I wasn't just such an idiot. Oh well. Hey, you know that's that's why you guys watch me, right? To, to see me do stupid stuff and make the campaign that much more challenging. Oh my god, that is so dumb. Oh hey, we broke the general. General. How about that? We didn't kill him, but we broke him. Yeah, he breaks when it doesn't matter. That sucks. Alright, whatever. What can you do? You, you just learn for next time. I mean, it was just a garrison army, so... I mean... We kind of wanted this army dead. We kind of needed this army dead. And I would have won this battle. It's not the end of the world. If I didn't just, like, goof around... You know what it, I, you know what I blame? Elon Musk and his stupid Starlink crap. Oh, you will pay! You will pay for your actions. Alright, what time is it? Oh, crap. I'm not checking the time. Okay, we gotta end it here, guys. Unfortunately, we are out of time. Um, I'm not too upset about that loss over there. Honestly, we're probably gonna lose that city regardless. Um, but we're gonna take it back. Don't you worry. Uh, I will learn from my mistakes of not trying. <laughs> Food hopefully gets better soon. Um, let's see what else can we do here? Governor's estate. Let's see food consumption. No, we don't want that. Wealth from culture buildings. That's pretty huge though. Um, let's go with the wealth from the food buildings because we just built a bunch of those. Okay, uh, we lost a huge chunk of land, but I promise you guys we will take it back. Um, we also have some Iberian issues to deal with. I think uh, we'll attack over here. Actually, we should just attack now. Really quick. I think we can auto-resolve this. Yeah, he's running away. Auto-resolve. We'll do a balanced. Boom, bada boom, bada bing. Bing, bing, bing. There you go. That's one less army we have to worry about. We'll take on the warriors. Let's see, what do we... Ooh, happiness here. Happiness needs to go up. Because I don't want a rebellion on my hands. See, public order, that would help with public order, but food consumption. Uh, what can help with public order? No, no. Uh, something plus nine is really good. It's costly, six turns. Uh, let's just go for the short term. For short, short term three. Uh, and then over here, we can improve public order with a... Okay, so we'll get this public order plus seven. That's another three turns. That should keep them happy. Because this army needs to go. Because what we can do is... I'm not really worried about this army. Like, they can go to hell. Uh, but we're going to take this force and take this over. And this will be a counter push. Also, you know what? We got to take this out too. Anyways, there's so much to do. So little time. Episode 13 was going pretty well until the end when I didn't take it seriously. But that's okay. It'll be fun. We'll take it back. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed episode 13 as much as I did. Uh, and I will see you guys next time on the battlefield.